Well, it's your love language holding you back in your relationship. So the concept of a love language was developed in the 90s by a marriage counselor, but many believe it still works today. Yeah, joining us now to talk more about the different types of love languages, Bella Gandhi of the Smart Dating Academy. And always nice to see you, Bella. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So there are five types, if I understand, of love languages. What are those? So physical touch, quality time, acts of service, gifts, giving and receiving, and words of affirmation. So those are the five that Gary Chapman, <laughs> the pastor, mm -hmm. wrote about in the early 90s. And it was really about understanding and trying to improve your relationship with an existing partner. How does your partner best receive love versus how are you showing it to them? I've read this book many times, so I'm a fan. But what's the point, would you say, kind of expanding on what you were saying, of uh, identifying your love language, maybe for yourself and someone you're interested in? I think that you can have one more dominant love language, right? And then it's just knowing that and being able to communicate to a future partner, like, hey, tell me I look beautiful today. <laughs> I dressed all up for you in my beautiful pink or my beautiful blue dress. Tell me I look beautiful because I need to hear it. It yeah. makes me feel really good about myself and therefore more attracted to you. So that's why it's important to know your own love language. But honestly, we all want all five of these things. Right. It just depends on the situation and the context. If you say, tell me I look beautiful and someone hands you a gift, you're like, wait, what? So no, even I would be though okay you with might that. like it on your birthday, I would be you're okay like, hey, with that. I'd be okay with that as long as it matches what I'm wearing. I think Girl, I know my I'm love good. language. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Bella, are there certain love languages that go well together or ones that are just not compatible? No, not really. Yeah. I mean, again, know the situation that you're in and deploy the right love language. Don't just say, well, yeah. this person always wants words of affirmation. So even right now, if we're in conflict, I'm going to give them words of affirmation and they'll be like, are you not listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that don't get pigeonholed thinking you've taken some quiz and you've got your own love language and they've got their own love language. I recently talked to an 18 year old who's like, well, my love language language is quality time and physical touch. I'm like, okay, that's great that you know that, but this isn't a matchmaking quiz. Right. This isn't what this is about. Yeah, and I like that there's different levels. Like I'm big on quality time, but then like also parallel, it's like gifts and also um, physical touch and then they kind of rank down, but I like that. Okay, so how can couples use this information to strengthen their bond? talk about them read the book together have book club at smart dating academy oh, we smart. help people define love but then how do you keep love and make sure that you're aligned with each other from a values perspective what yep. you want out of life how you want to show and receive your love read the book together mm -hmm. and talk about it because then you could be like hey this is a physical touch moment it's not a words moment yeah. and you both you both have the same cues so, or in Tamsin's case, it's always a gift moment. <laughs> just, just shout well, her I was just saying, gift. if they gave me a gift, I'd be okay with that too. Um, how can singles use love language to find a match? Because that's probably what a lot of them want, want to know. Like, can, can you use it to find a match or is it only when you're in, in a relationship? It's you. It's in a relationship. It's great to know about. It's a great date thing to talk about. Like, hey, yeah. have you, do you know what your predominant love language is? But I don't recommend you go out and say, oh, I'm a words of affirmation person. So the first person that I go out on a date with that could be love bombing me, yes. telling me you're the most beautiful <laughs> thing I have ever seen. I cannot wait to show you my house in Cabo. Right. And you're like, hook, <laughs> line, sinker drawn in you don't want to lead with that and yeah. that's not all that you're looking for you're looking for somebody's character for yeah. women we call them our trademark is high ghq guys high and good husband qualities what are those for you know those end up with a great guy that aligns with your values then talk about your love language yeah yeah don't tell them what you want to hear or get no. and he could be no. love bombing you with gifts right just giving you lavish gifts just showering I mean, <laughs> Tell us Tamsin, like that. she's me. down, <laughs> down for the count. Bella, thank you. Always good to see you. That's for sure. Great, great to be here. Thank you.